Yo, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to another YouTube video. So this video is going to be for all my COD players out there. We're going to basically give you just free FPS just from changing this one little setting right here. So before we do any of that, let's make sure you're on the best COD MW2 settings or MW3. This should apply for either one of these. If it doesn't, I'll make a new video as soon as MW3 comes out with the best settings for that. But for now, the best settings are going to be the ones linked in the description. And once you've got those, all you want to do is basically drag them to documents and and under documents go to call of duty and then players and then drag that file inside the players folder and it will replace the options.3.cod 22 and it'll ask you do you want to replace it press yes and launch your game make sure it finishes the shader optimization and then close it again and then continue watching this video but again if you haven't done that already go to the link in the description download those settings and drag them into the players folder in call of duty under documents if you haven't done that then you might be playing on some bad settings that aren't really optimized these settings right here should literally double your fps in some cases even triple but before we do any of the special tricks that'll give you even more performance you want to make sure you're on the best setting so again head over to the link in the description and download that now all we're going to do is open up our task manager head over to performance tab and then click cpu and we're going to look at cores now this is highly dependent on what cpu you have and what generation of cpu you have all right so 12th gen intel and 13th gen intel you have something called p cores and e cores P cores, think of those as basically your actual gaming cores. Those are fast and use those for gaming. E cores, just think of those as efficiency cores, stuff you can use for background apps and all that other jargon. But basically for i9s, i7s, you have eight P cores. This is for 12th gen and 13th gen Intel. You always have eight P cores for 12th gen and 13th gen. So for this specific setting, you're going to use the number eight if you're on 12th gen Intel or 13th gen Intel and it's an i9 or an i7. If you're on 12th gen Intel or 13th gen Intel and you're on an i5, then you want to use the number 6. It's going to be the standard for 12th gen and 13th gen. It's going to be 6 for both of those. And if you are on anything older than that, so 11th gen and under, all you're going to do is going to follow the cores, colon, and whatever number you have here, you're going to plug it in into the notepad where we're changing the setting. So 11th gen and under, just use the core count here. 12th gen and 13th gen, use the counts that I just provided you earlier just for now. So for Ryzen, it's a bit different. It's a bit more complicated. If you're on a Ryzen, nine you're going to be using half of what you have right here in the cores value right here in task manager so if you're on a ryzen 9 7950x you're going to use the number eight if you're on a ryzen 9 7900x you're going to use the number six and if you're on a ryzen 9 5950x you're going to use the number eight if you're on a ryzen 9 5900x you're going to use the number six and if you're on a ryzen 7 7800x 3d same principle goes just use the number eight you really have to divide it by two and for ryzen sevens and ryzen fives just follow the core count Count, Ryzen 5 is going to be 6 and then for Ryzen 7s it's going to be 8. Now that's going to be for all of Ryzen but specifically for 7th gen Ryzen you want to test around with 6 or the core count that you have in here. Just test around with those. Obviously depending on those you're going to get different results but whichever result you get the most consistent better FPS in you're going to use that. And you might be asking how are we going to test the FPS? So you need to make sure you're able to use the Call of Duty benchmark. If you're not able to use that then you won't really have a clear way to tell if you gained FPS or not. You can use other programs like Cap Frame X to actually test it properly, but the benchmark is going to be the easiest way to do that. So before you change anything in the upcoming seconds and minutes of what I'm about to do, go to your Call of Duty, run a benchmark, get a baseline with the settings that I provided for you in the beginning of the video. Just get a baseline and then follow this video. So once you've gotten a baseline, all we're going to do is gonna we're going to take whatever number that we have come to the conclusion of using. We're going to go to Documents in our PC, go to Call of Duty, Players, right click on options.3.cod22 and click open with. I'm going to double click notepad, scroll all the way down, find render worker count, and it might be already set to some random number. All we're going to need to do is set the number to the specified numbers that I provided earlier. So if you haven't come to a conclusion of what number you should use, just go back to this video and basically listen closely to what numbers I list out or what you should use for your specific CPU. But for me, I have a Ryzen 5 3600, so I'm going to be using the number 6 just because I have six cores. This tie depends on your CPU. And now I'm going to basically go in game, run the benchmark, make sure I get a performance boost or it's around the same. If it's around the same, then your CPU core count is just too low for this to actually matter. And if you get lower frames, try a different value and so on and so forth. So for Ryzen 9 specifically, if you do 7950X and if you do eight cores, you might get better FPS with six or eight. It depends on your CPU. You're going to have to run a benchmark and see what's 
going on. But that's only specifically for 7th Gen Ryzen. That's like the only thing that is kind of off with the whole core count ordeal. But yeah, make sure you're using the core count that I provided earlier in this video. Run a benchmark as soon as you change it. So once you've changed it, you should press save and exit out of this. Launch your game, run the benchmark, make sure you get in a boost in basically minimum FPS, average FPS, and so on and so forth. Me personally, I've worked on a client on a 7900X and the best value is going to be six for those. Research that as well. You get about 20 FPS. So it's a very dramatic boost and it's definitely going to be noticeable in game, especially if you're playing unlimited FPS. So this is a super, super, super easy FPS boost just right in the game settings where you can literally just change it depending on whatever CPU you have. So again, make sure you use it in my settings and make sure you change it to whatever numbers I specified in the beginning of this video. But yeah, that's going to be pretty much it for these COD settings. And if you want basically even more performance out of your PC to get more FPS in COD and just get smoother gameplay in general, head over to the link in the description. I've worked with a bunch of COD players recently, gotten them to crazy FPS numbers, and they've just been telling me over and over again about how smooth it is and how crazy it feels. So if you want to be just like one of those players, head over to the link in the description, book an optimization. They all ended up booking the ultimate optimization. So they got the best thing possible. And if you want a PC completely built for you, basically get the most possible FPS straight out of the box, head over to the second link in the description. It's going to take you to my website where you can purchase a custom PC completely built by me, optimized by me, and tested by me. And then it's shipped right to your house in about two weeks or so. And all you have to do is just install your video games, run them up, and just enjoy the high frame rates and zero input lag. But yeah, that's going to be pretty much it for me for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.